so hard to keep out. You seeing this? Was someone feeding these things? Just found its way in. In the next season, it was kind of hinted that there is going to be a third threat. Can you talk about that a little bit? I can say there's going to be a third threat. No! no I can say that, no, look, uh, it's going to be something uh, completely different, something completely new, uh, other than zombies, other than humans, uh, and it's going to be something uh, completely uncontrollable, and it's something that, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not something that you can defeat, per se. So it's, uh, it's definitely the most dangerous thing that these people have ever faced, and uh, I feel like my hints are very vague, but if you do it's a little math, vague. you'll uh, you'll figure it out. It's more dangerous it's than dragons. the I knew it! I wish. No. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. The governor is absent from this trailer. He's going to be appearing later? Yes, he's going to be appearing later. I can say that the governor definitely appears in season four, but I'm not going to say when. Something I love about this season is that we're able to actually keep things very close to the vest. I know that it's very aggravating when it comes to these kind of things, but the fact that we released this trailer online today and you think that you know what's coming and you think you have an idea of what you're in store for, you really don't. This season is uh, from minute one, you're going to be like, whoa, I never expected this to happen. Like it's it's really uh, it's really remarkable how we're being able to like uh, uh, keep a lot of things secret, and I and I think that that's going to make the viewing experience that much more exciting. That's how I feel when I watch every episode. So it's that turned up. What are you doing to me? Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, it's going to be a nail biter. What the hell do we do? For me, I've always been a very girl power type chick, and I've always been about letting, making girls, making sure girls have voice. As a playwright, I always make sure I tell stories about women that gives them voice and face. And to, Mich to me, Michonne reminded me of uh, something I wrote about a woman in, women in Liberia who were in a war zone and became very formidable rebel fighters. And I went there and researched that. And then when I got, and I wrote the play, but when I got the part, I said, oh, Michonne's one of those chicks. But with a katana. They had AK-47. Um, but um, the thing is, the thing that's really that was really cool to me about Michonne is that it was that sort of connection I saw with those women, which is really when you've been through trauma and you become your own weapon. You don't rely on anybody else anymore, and you tap into a power that I believe all women have that really makes you highly strategic, extremely effective, and um, kind of formidable. And it's not about, I hope I'm having this effect on people's impressions of me. It's about, this is how I'm gonna navigate the world from here on out. And that's what goes through a tough chick's mind. From page one, episode one, I've been wow jaw-dropping stuff, just the fans are going to be absolutely worn out. This is the most amazing, I'm telling you, this will, this will top any other season that you've seen, without question. No hype, I'm not hyping it. Unreal. Right. Hey, listen, you, you know, I could, and I can tell you what, this is tip of the iceberg, but no one goes unscathed in the post-apocalyptic world. Sincerely. This is going to be a hell of a journey, trust and believe. Is it going to mirror what happened in the book? No, we can't. You know what? That's the amazing part about this. Yeah. That you have that, that powerful entity, which is kind of like the Godfather's Bible, you know. But we want to keep everybody on their heels. So if you knew everything that was going down because you know the whole comic book deal, we'd rob you of this experience you're having now. So it keeps everybody on their toes, you know what I mean? It's, it's I'm unbelievable. I don't want to spoil anything. When the governor, if the governor returns, can it somehow... There is no if. if. He will definitely okay, return. Okay, when the governor returns, will it be anything like in the books? Uh, you know, uh, possibly. I can't really say. Uh, I will say that there are... Uh, 
there are story points in the books that weren't covered yet. Uh, and so we may be picking some of that stuff up, but uh, we may not be. Uh, I don't know. The, you know, I, I've said too much. No, you haven't. You should say more. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll be watching the next season of The Walking Dead. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. What you should. Is that a voice?